Approximately a day out from the shrine, you all have traveled and found your way almost to the town, the next place you were going. But a bit too far for a simple one-day travel, you must rest, and after taking the day to um, simply settle in, you found a nice area, turned in for the night, and in the morning, Sho and Brewer had gone out to find some game, to find some kind of food to replace the stocks that had been spent. Leaving the campsite with only three. Well, uh, Hideo is probably just, like, cleaning up the campsite, uh, doing responsible shit that Smokey Bear would find good. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, putting dirt on the fire and, and stomping it out, making sure that there are no embers. Sumie has also been doing that as well. She's, uh, shoved some dirt on the fire. <sighs> One more day. <laughs> having a rough morning? Huh? <laughs> no! Uh, why do you say that? <laughs> uh, it's, it's just your expression. You seem a little downtrodden. Oh, no, I'm probably just tired. I practice in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't hear that. You must be exceptionally quiet. Exceptionally quiet? And exceptionally deadly. <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. Um, I I guess that's to be expected from a famous swordsman, right? You'd be surprised. There are plenty of famous swordsmen out there who are much louder than I am. Hideo! <laughs> Hideo! <laughs> he just he just cringes every time he hears it. <laughs> I'm right here, I say, looking into the tent where you can see me. <laughs> Something awful has happened. Are you hurt? Worse still. At least I possess the means to defend myself. But this... He didn't deserve it. He, uh, he holds up his pillow, which has ripped at the bottom, and its stuffing has started spilling <laughs> out onto the ground. <laughs> oh. Sir. Let me see that. Uh, Hideo grabs it. Uh, Hideo grabs it and examines it. I can sew this up. You would do such a thing for me? Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Well, it's... Technically speaking, of course it's true that you're required to do whatever I ask you to do, but... To do so on your own initiative... Every day... Every minute... I'm... I'm reminded... Of just how much you care for me. S Sir, you're a little close. <laughs> <laughs> puts, uh, he already yep. had one hand on one shoulder. He puts his other hand on the other shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need for words now. Just... Just the fine work of those nimble little fingers of yours. And soon all will be well. I have faith. But, I have faith in you. But do you have thread? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, we're we're not too far from town. Uh, just wait. Wait. It no. Nay. Nay. No. I know how to solve this problem. You will see, Hideo. Even on my own, I am not the helpless creature you undoubtedly believe me to be. Oh, I never said anything like that, Master. Pushes past him. <laughs> <laughs> Now, once out of eyesight, Hideo just sinks. <laughs> now, there must be a suitable substitute amidst the flora at this luscious campsite. <laughs> Sumie turns to Hideo. He's quite lively in the morning, isn't he? Some might say loud. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh dear. Uh, I, what's that sound I hear carrying on the breeze? It sounds like the, the sound of passive voice and plausible deniability. <laughs> 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 uh, I, w- I would like to make a I'd like to use my connoisseur of beauty ability to try to find like a fern or a grass or something that can be used as makeshift thread here okay yeah surely um, you find multiple things that could be interesting you find a, a silk webbing all darted around a tree you find a, a fern that is particularly strong um, and you find Buried underneath a tree over here, a wonderful flower of the same hue as the uh, the pillow you actually picked up. Mm. With these things together, you can make a mm. rather beautiful, or more as a Hideo can make a rather beautiful repair <laughs> of your pillow. Simply marvelous. Oh, what a fool I was. Soon my pillow will be more beautiful than ever. Now... I need both of you to perform a simply vital task for me. Uh, oh, me, me too? I, yes, my dear, of course! Uh, wh- what is it? Oh, just wait. <laughs> 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 I'm going to need second and third opinions on which of these is the most radiant. This silk! From some fine creature of the forest, left here, perhaps by providence, for my very use. This fern, sturdy, dependable, growing out here amidst the wilderness. (sighs) (laughs) What a lonely existence. (laughs) Or this! (laughs) This flower... A radiant gem amidst a sea of green and brown. I can't even see him. You're back not there. walking over! Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I have every confidence in your farsightedness, but I believe precision will be paramount if we are to effect a quick and and decisive rescue of my pillow. <laughs> Um, I think the silk would be easier to sew, but the the flower looks pretty, but it's probably going to fall apart really quickly. It doesn't look too stable. Though, I think you could probably keep that flower and, uh... We can make dye out of the flower. Yeah. <sighs> oh, the possibilities. Yes, yes, see, this is why this... This is why he shakes her hand once with each oh, beat uh, of that. Um, <laughs> this is why it's so important to share these delights with others. Otherwise, one might miss the most beautiful possibilities. One could very well say the forest for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeed. I shall procure this flower for my own use later. And the silk. Mm, Hmm, indeed. A fine idea. But what say you, Hideo? Huh? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that sounds good. (laughs) Excellent! (laughs) It's settled then. (laughs) She'll take this silk, and Hideo shall begin work at once, and soon all will be right. This crisis will pass... And we will all be stronger and wiser for it. Mr. Junior, um... Yes! It it might be wise to finish packing up camp before he fixes the pillow. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could work on it if... If Master Junior would finish packing the camp. Hideo says, knowing that Junior... Loathes like <laughs> manual labor. Oh. oh, oh, goodness! You know, I, Hideo, that is a marvelous idea, a, a perfectly good way for me to get some much-needed exercise. But 
I think you know me better than anyone, and you know that just now is the time I take my morning constitutional. <laughs> and so, uh, I will be off, Lord. and Lord. I will return momentarily. You needn't worry. You needn't worry for my safety. You're already securing the safety of a good night's sleep for me. I recommend wrapping the pillow in a blanket so that you don't lose more of the stuffing. Mm, mm, mm. Wise. So wise. So resolute. I would truly be lost without you. And you, Subi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've only met recently, but I feel like I've known you for an age. Uh, well, well, thank you. I'm. I. I also. He, he, he's walking away, and it's. <laughs> oh, I. I wasn't supposed to reply to that, was I? He has that effect on people. You've only known him for a moment, but you feel you've known him for an age. <laughs> Continues packing things away. Ooh, ooh, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, she she's finished packing up her tent. Uh, she's going to pack it onto the cart as well. Um, and also help start taking care of the other tents that have been assembled here. Some time does then pass. Yeah, uh, you can start taking down the tent slowly. Um, <clears throat> it actually uh ends up Virginia is still sitting there. Um, the tent kind of comes around gently around you as you hmm. maintain yourself on the pillow. Then he starts packing them up one by one, <coughs> folding things up. And as this is being done, um, Buru and Sho, you both come back from uh, the north. And both of you, surprisingly, the woods around this area seem somewhat barren of life. Um, and as you return, you return empty-handed, actually, which is a bit odd, because between the two of you, both were, uh, used to the wilds and traveling, there should always be something nearby. Though there is no other signs of conflict or strangeness, well, at least nothing that would imply someone was watching you or anything like that. Uh, so you looked around the perimeter, confirmed everything seemed safe, and you stumble back now into the campsite as it is being brought down. <sighs> You know, Everything here's dead. I I got a feeling there's plenty of game here, but Junior woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, <sighs> I you'd think it'd work in the reverse. Like Junior has the ability to attract gigantic, like multicolored birds just out of nowhere. They taste great. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, like... uh, oh welcome hey. back. <laughs> hey. Oh, thanks very much for. Uh, Backing this up, unfortunately, we, uh, didn't have much luck. Oh, really? Um, hmm, she thinks. Oh, that that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, she kind of goes down, rolling up the bedroll, getting it, uh, firm, tying it up, and picks it up, brings it to the cart. As she does, she continues talking. It's it's the time for the festival, so a lot of the, uh, the wild animals kind of steer clear of this. Uh, not just because of the people, but also because of the, uh, the other stuff that goes on. Other stuff? Yeah, uh, the woods get real lively around this time. Um, she loads it onto the cart. Remember that, uh, the, you know, the, the little pillar by the, the, you know, it kept falling down, that stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, things like that keep happening around the area occasionally. And it kind of gets more severe this time of year when we do the festival. It's to ward off the bad luck and the weirdness. Um, she plops the last of the thing there and, uh, kind of wipes her hand of it. Oh, but, but I mean... If we get to town, then I know they'll have plenty of food there. Uh, vendors come from all over the place with different kinds of food. You can even find stuff out of the country. Oh. oh. Well, that sounds pretty lovely. Kind of strange this festival's dedicated to preventing weird stuff, yet more seems to happen in the woods. <laughs> I was sure to say, yet Junior exists. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you said it. <laughs> it's been going long on for longer than I've been aware of, but I'm pretty sure the weird stuff happened first. Mm, fair enough. Interesting. Yeah. Town's not that far, if I'm not mistaken, so we'll just have breakfast there instead. I still got yeah. some snacks anyways. Hmm. Um, yeah, everything is loaded off, and if you'd like to go, you can. Let's go! Um, let's go! 
Just All fucking right. hungry. <laughs> All right. J- Junior is sitting on the ground now. The, <laughs> the entire tent having been packed up around him as he sat motionless. Um, he is completely engrossed reading the book that he got uh, from a little girl. Oh. Mm. <laughs> She'll like kind of kicks him a little bit. Hey, no. come on, we're going. <laughs> uh, Hideo, you uh, you get the cart ready to go and suddenly you are lifted off the ground Whoa. as Buru just like <laughs> plops himself on the back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you should have said something. He, he just starts, like, kind of trying to pull it back down, like, doing, <laughs> doing like, pull-ups on the thing to try to get it to come back down. Buru uh, pulls out a long pipe. I figure one of the strongest warriors in the country should be able to handle simple training like this. Yeah, yeah, I definitely can. Just, if you'd get uh, a little closer to the center. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He uh he he gets up, uh and <laughs> gestures to <laughs> gestures to Junior to get on. It's suddenly flopped, <laughs> just decked into the dirt. Just <laughs> ah, mm, good one. Yeah. Junior walks straight past Buru's gesture over to show. Oh oh oh! Flipping mm. pages. Oh. Have you seen this one? Isn't this just the most adorable gremlin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, why does it have so many feet? <laughs> it's got feet in places that I've never even seen. <laughs> yeah, that and is... this one, he flips. This one looks like you. It's 90% tongue. <laughs> and this one looks like Buru. That is a shoe. <laughs> I, I call him Shuru. <laughs> Flattering. I'm still I'm still looking for the Hideo yokai. Can when you find it. Sumie picks up. Can any yokai truly compare to Hideo Fumikaze? Mm. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am much too I'm much too vibrant and full of life. You won't find me in a book of spirits. Uh uh yeah, Junior like flipping through the pages quickly goes past like a page that details an author's note that has a simple drawing of a bored looking face, and show goes ah for half a second before the page turns. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, uh, Hideo. Uh yes. Lem let me take care of this one. He uh just pats you on the shoulder, just messing with you. Not a problem at all. <laughs> Alrighty, kids, hop on. You you get going, uh, people relaxing in the cart, and you reach a riverbed. Uh, pairing show, um, well, everyone actually, you, you see, uh, someone on the other side with a broken down cart, um, and, uh, Sume kind of goes forward first, uh, hello, sir, are you, is something wrong? Um, he turns around. Oh, yeah. Damn, damn wheel broke again. Um, oh. You look, it does look a little busted. Um, hmm. Uh, she, she kind of inspects it a bit and looks. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, she peeks around at it a bit, looking at the wheel itself. Hmm, I, I think I could fix this. I've got... A little, uh, she, she kind of rubs her hands together and goes in and kind of seems to try to prepare to cast magic. Oh. Um, she mows in and with a singular action, she seems to, um, rub her hand over it with like picking up some of the dirt from the ground and kind of caking it over. And the dirt seems to just kind of stick in between the part where the wheel kind of broke. Hmm. This wasn't, this isn't going to last for long, but I hope it helps. The guy uh, smiles. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, he says, uh, thank you all. I'm, I'm on the way to town and uh, I thought I'd miss it before sundown. He uh, kind of turns. Uh, hello, my name is Hojo. A pleasure. What, what is all of your names? Um, uh, Sumie, he turns in after that and then looks at uh, yeah. uh, Sho. Sho just like kind of waves. Sho uh, turns, focuses on Sumie. That's, where'd you learn that? Buru like gets up to this bridge and then sees her stairs. What sick bastard put <laughs> stairs on the bridge? Oh, jeez. 
You, oh, uh, you can do it. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this part, and then I saw no, like, there no, are there are legitimately stairs. stairs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I mean, it's not hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah. Going up. <laughs> Sorry, your high ass. It comes a glass. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good news, master. I uh, I finished preemptively sewing the pillow. <laughs> the bad news is you no longer have a pillow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I turn it around. Uh, should be good. <gasps> oh! Uh, Junior slaps Hideo in the face. You tease! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't ready for that. Hojo uh, looks. Yeah, those damn stairs, they got me too. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Tires. Oh, it seems like they're okay. <laughs> on, on your way to town as well for the festival? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Hmm, he kind of looks back. I feel like you've made the wrong turn, though. Huh? Yeah. You see, you accidentally, uh... You stumbled into the afterlife. What? He peels away his face. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, Sumie screams and falls back against the dirt. The man's staring at you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Hello, hello. Um, he uh, thanks again. He turns around and starts to make like he's just gonna leave after doing that. No, wait, hold on. Like, Buru was like winding up a punch, just like, dude, what? Hold on, hold uh, on. Is that is this one of those is this one of those creatures? Junior, look in the book. Uh, uh. I'm so, it's just a roller coaster of emotions. First, I thought I didn't have a pillow, then I did, then he didn't have a face, but it's apparently no big deal. <laughs> well, depending Junior on what the book says, it might looking be. for a faceless yokai. <laughs> okay, you look through, and yes, you do find one. Uh, hmm. You find listings, this one, a bit of a prankster. Um, what surprises you is usually, well, what does do is they scare someone, and um, once they're scared, they usually run off. Uh, if you find yourself amongst another companion, usually that companion would be replaced by another one of these things. But as Sumie turns around, looking for respite against the terror that she experienced, none of your faces change. This is the only one here. <laughs> and, uh, as you look through that book, he notices the book, and his head seems to, like, raise up a bit, since he certainly does not have a face, and he kind of scratches his chin slightly. Ah, that book. I've seen that before. Um... Oh, you found were familiar? Oh, of course, of course. I, uh... He provided an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, he, uh, uh, if you, if you look down at the bottom, it should have a little listing of, uh, you, you look down, and, um, you notice a, a report, a little quotation from one of these things, uh, mentioning to flip a coin and they'll protect you from future encounters with these scary frights. Oh, oh goodness. Very useful to know, but, you know, you've been very gracious, actually, all things considered. And so, I will, uh, I will leave the coin unflipped for now so as not to ruin your fun. Oh, uh, he uh, puts his hand to his heart. Well, unfortunately, I'm traveling alone. Oh, um, yes. That is a shame. I, I simply haven't scared anyone for a month now, so I had to do something. I apologize. Perhaps I would have been more cruel if I had my friends around, but... Oh well, oh well. He, uh, picks up the things of his cart. Um, hmm. He, he reaches around and flips a coin over at Sumie's, um, feet. I suppose I'm the one who deserves to be giving thanks today. Um, he, he kind of just seems to be in a weird spot. Well, yeah. hmm. Show peeks around. Where'd your friends go? Ah, uh, he contemplates a bit. Well, unfortunately, I actually left. I, I insisted I wanted to see this festival firsthand, but everyone else wasn't so keen. So, mm. I had to split off on my own. I have some wares to... to... pretend to peddle. I hope to scare someone at the dead of night, but... Um, <laughs> regardless, um, he kind of shrugs. This is quite the interesting encounter. I did not expect to see so many armed warriors on the way to a festival. Yeah. I didn't expect to see a person without a face, so I guess we're even. 
Good oh, luck. Fair, you fair. can do it. She, yes, she yes. like, she tries to flash him an encouraging gesture, but doesn't exactly know what to do. A, a smile peels its way from his flesh, and you see his face kind of reform. Well, if you need anything, come find me in town. I can answer a few questions for you, and maybe you can check some of my wares for sale. Um, yeah. Uh, he kind of looks again. Um, oh, and, and stay safe. Uh, if you would, things are getting rather uh, crowded around these parts. Uh, he turns mm-hmm. around, uh, grabs the cart, and begins wheeling off the strange encounter, uh, leaving you there as he just carts off once more. And you're all just kind of left sitting there for a moment. Yeah, she looks, uh, she looks actually kind of happy. That was fun. Well, what a pleasant fellow! I want to find more. Uh, <laughs> Baru just turns around to Junior. So, is Sumie cursed or what just happened? Am I cursed? Yeah, don't touch that coin. No, no, she's quite, as you can see, she is quite befaced. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, you do look. There is no curse. Um, usually, uh, these things uh, seek out to scare someone who has done wrong. However, um... By, you know, uh, many signs, many warnings, like, don't go up that hill, don't fish at that spot, all that kind of stuff. But it seems this one was just starved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, okay. okay. If we find him again, I want to I wanna do better. I want to do better acting scared, because I just stood here, and I also almost killed him. So, like... <laughs> yeah, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, I... You weren't the only one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do I... How do I panic better? Like what? What face muscles do I use? <laughs> She's touching Sumi her face. stands up, kind of embarrassed. Well, I guess you just gotta watch me. <laughs> you make your, yeah. you make your mouth. He pinches her cheeks. You just make your mouth as uh-huh. big as it will go. Ah. Uh... <laughs> yes, but give me one with more gusto. Give me an oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, come on, you could do better than that. Uh, what was that? Oh, uh, <laughs> are you are you chanting or are you scared? Uh, yeah, uh, both. <laughs> um, I see. Oh. Well, what's the answer that you want here? Try, so try like, try like, like, oh! oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, uh, you know, before uh, we move uh, on, I simply must, uh, Junio walks uh, over to uh, Hideo uh, and uh, uh, takes out, like, a little bit of medicinal ointment and the world's, like, puffiest, fluffiest swab and just dabs it on the side of Hideo's face. Simply awful what I did to you earlier. I apologize for <laughs> laying so much as a finger on that, that little... He pinches his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there I go again! <laughs> <laughs> Hideo is just slowly pulling his hand to his face like he he just looks violated like <laughs> all right B- Buru just like sets a hand on Hideo's shoulders like hey um you know no one needs to know he just like <laughs> gestures towards Junior <laughs> I can uh you know, I uh, I used to do some pretty bad stuff. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'd prefer not to, but like, <laughs> if it helps me with my little book, he just like points to his little uh, black ledger. If one day I ever decide that it's not worth it, <laughs> that that I truly cannot go on with this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Buru just like uh, pats him on the shoulder. Yeah. Right, so I'll pencil you in for next week. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go! <laughs> <laughs> you, all, you all begin to go. Uh, <laughs> you all, taking with the cart, head off. The, the gates of the city are close in hand now. As you depart, you leave behind a single thing. Uh, Waking up, not only is it a morning for people, but a morning for spirits as well. Something flickers out of the tree, moves across, before disappearing inside of a lantern. (laughs) 
so yeah, you you continue up um, the path. Uh, you finally see it, the gates ahead. You notice uh, guards dressed in traditional Rauji uh, uniforms. Uh, no simple retainers, no bandits. Actual, well-paid, well-trained Rauji guards await you ahead. Oh, nice. Oh, there it is. That's a lot bigger than I expected. Ah, a gate at last. You all begin moving up, uh, Sumie kind of falling behind at uh, the, the rear now. You doing a ride back there, kiddo? Yeah. If you need a ride, you can hop in the cart. You can no, hop in the cart. I'm fine. If it's about being scared, it's pretty reasonable. <sighs> to be fair, most of us were pretty far away. We weren't even near. I guess so. that's true. I mean, you're also all a little... You're a bit stronger and seen more stuff, so I guess it makes sense. I see a lot less these days. Uh, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I had the guard uh, stop. Stop. Um, maybe we, uh, we're going to inspect the cart real quick. Um, oh, what is your course. business here? Uh, just here for the festival. Oh, I see. The guard moves to the back, uh, inspects it, and uh, checks it out. He moves through. Uh, the other guard just kind of sitting there... Uh, See anything interesting today? Hmm. Um, <laughs> we uh, happened to bump into some. Junior, did you ever catch its name? Hmm. I like to think. Oh boy. That his <laughs> name is Faceless. It was Hojo. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Hojo. We just we just checked that guy through. Yeah. Oh. Um, hmm. he, nice, uh, nice guy. Oh, he's having problems okay. with his cart. Oh yeah, uh, we we recommended a wheeler. You got he kind of it's that damn bridge, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why does it have stairs? I have no idea. <laughs> Some artisanal crap. It's built, built for foot traffic. <laughs> yeah, foot traffic. Um, he kind of considers a bit. You all have a wonderful day. Um. Uh, enjoy the festival. It's not starting for another few days, but people have already set up, so... Yeah. The other guard, we're all clear. He moves back up, um, and, yeah, you're free. Uh, the other guard points, uh, down here. That pathway does not have a stairway, so... <laughs> Bless you. Uh, well, uh, thank you, folks. That's very well and good. Just between you and I, where can I find... The finest and most lavish pleasantries on offer in this town. He looks you up and down and considers, Well, are you, if you are looking for the upper district, he points behind him uh, a stairway leading down. You can uh, find it up there, or alternatively, you can move through the bound path. It's, it's pretty easy to find. There's a large, uh, west, uh, or a large uh, northern-styled style, building. Um, at an end, there's a performance happening soon, actually. Uh, <gasps> and he, uh, kind of gestures a bit behind. You see the, the, the very top of a large castle. You seem to be of a, a very prestigious line, sir. Um, indeed. And, yes. <laughs> uh, if you would introduce yourself, perhaps the magistrate would take you. Wonderful. I shall, I shall have a word with him, and I'll put in a good word on your behalf. Uh, thank you. Um, he, uh, gives a, a stern stance and kind of holds himself, uh, you know, professional-like. Anyways, uh, he, uh, waves you forward over in this direction. Ooh, yeah. You all take step into this, uh, tunnel. It's full of interesting design, uh, well-laid bricks, and it's very, very, uh, not too far down, but you find yourself going in a, a sloped hill down, um, yes, of course, this, this place, this village, the, the town that belonged Back in the old days, the the capital of the jellyfish's domain, the town beneath the lake. Ooh. And as you find yourselves moving further inside, you discover the true meaning of this town's name. As you pull yourself out and you notice a large, expansive, just entire little city built underneath the shadow of the walls around it. <laughs> <laughs> 